What's our first topic? Oh, thanks, me. Okay. <laughs> from Mick. Oh, excuse me. From uh, William. Hi, John and crew. Well, it happened. Deadline has reported that at 80.9 80, 80. million and counting, everything everywhere all at once has passed hereditary to become A24's highest grossing film ever. Having seen it twice in theaters, I couldn't be happier. What are your thoughts on this? And do you think this success could embolden A24 to push for an Oscar campaign? Also, Chris, did you know that Sarah Finn, oh, whoops, uh, oh. Sarah Finn was the casting director for this? I did know this. Sarah Finn is amazing. Thanks for writing this in, William. Sarah Finn, of course, is the wonderful casting mind before behind so many Marvel properties. And as we've seen with so many things most recently, Ms. Marvel, she nails it. Sarah Finn, you are doing the Lord's work. I love it. I'm so happy about this. Everything, everywhere at once. I think I don't want to speak for everyone, but I feel like I'm speaking for everyone in this room. That's been the runaway hit for all of us this year. It's such a great film. It's beautiful, interesting IP. It puts the, puts the multiverse of madness to shame. This is a real multiverse. Rob, how do you feel about this? I, I thought it was great. I'm going to give you a theory. Mm. So this was directed by two people that go by the Daniels. Yes. They're going to direct Fantastic Four. <gasps> oh, oh Sarah I Finn. would love that. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I, now... By the way, I just want to say, don't know anything. We are speculating. This is complete <laughs> speculation. I mean, there's been a lot of talk, obviously, that Fantastic Four is is needing a director. Mm -hmm. Kevin Feige is used to pulling directors. I mean, uh, the Daniels made Swiss Army Man with Daniel Radcliffe, and they've made everything everywhere all at once. Kevin Feige is going to take them. And oh. let's, I'll even say this. If it's not Fantastic Four, it is going to be a Marvel movie. Their next yeah. film is going to be a Marvel movie, a oh. film in the MCU. And everyone's going to be like, of course. Yeah. Of course. That would be such a natural fit. Because obviously they are just really, really great at juggling multiple storylines, multiple versions or variants of characters. I mean, and look, they might not want to direct. They, they, they could be... Obviously, their first two films show a fierce individuality and 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 level of, I I mean, who would have thought Swiss Army Man would have worked? I love that movie. Let's so get much. Harry Potter to play a dead dude, the whole time. I mean, that was that was ballsy. It's but brilliant. I but I do think that. And by the way, if Kevin Feige does not pick them to direct Fantastic Four or another MCU movie, it's only because they said, nah, no. They had something even better. And after this movie, if they've got something better than an MCU movie on there on their plate, well, then I'll watch that too. But I would not be surprised if an announcement is soon forthcoming. Absolutely. Going back to William's question here too, do you think this is gonna have A24 really push for an Oscar campaign for this film? Oh, absolutely. I I, I mean, this film is, look, if nothing else, best screenplay. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a genius screenplay. Michelle Yeoh was great in it. She deserves all the accolades. I, I mean, I can, uh, th this film is such a special movie, I mean, People would say, Oscar pundits would say, well, you know, it came out early, early in the year. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to mount an Oscar campaign for it. But I think by then, because it's going to streaming, I'll be able to get my 4K disc yeah. of it, which is exciting. I, I think that this film is the kind of creativity that we've been missing. I mean, as far as indie genre cinema goes, th this is... This to me was was I mean it has nothing to do with this movie, but when I saw Terminator for the first time, and I saw the verve and the wit and the action and the the directing chops that James Cameron brought to this low budget movie, with it was kind of a joke. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I I'll be back, you know. It was I I loved Conan, but when you went went and saw this in '84, you walked out of the theater going, "Man, this is the shit." This mm -hmm. movie is the shit. What's what's James Cameron going to do next? He did Aliens. This is this is the kind of breakthrough movie that you don't. It's it's once in a generation. This film, absolutely. And I don't think that's hyperbole. No, I agree with you full heartedly. But really, guys, it's up to you. Do you think they're going to push for an Oscar campaign? Are you surprised that this movie is bringing in these kinds of numbers and it's the highest grossing film for A twenty four thus far? Let us know in the comments below your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's video, Upside. You guys remember a while ago I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible, easy to use app for buying groceries, dining out, or even buying gas. And 
with every purchase you make at those shops, restaurants, or gas stations, you are earning cash back thanks to Upside. When I started using Upside, I was incredibly impressed with just how easy the app is to use and how easy it is to start accumulating cash that I can deposit directly into my bank account, PayPal, Amazon gift card, many different ways. And like I said, I was incredibly impressed at just how easy and simple and straightforward the process is to start getting cash back now. To get started, just download the free Upside app in the Apple App Store or Google Play. Use my promo code CAMPIA, that's C-A-M-P-E-A, -E and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Once you've got the app, just claim an offer for whatever it is you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a debit card or a credit card, and get paid. Download the free Upside app and use promo code Campia Show to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more using the promo code Campia Show.